con uh, to continue with the touchline talking about how sports can spur economy and the commercial aspect of the game Ngaro Kamuya is still here with us a man who wears many hats indeed consultant <laughs> marketer uh, lawyer and you know an enthusiast big talker of the game and a big talker as well <laughs> <laughs> and i think the other day i was talking to Gangi yeah. the Kenya rugby union president and he was telling me how uh, Kenya Cup will be back in action mm. uh, probably uh, starting January next year mm. and despite the fact that you know the government is here to give a green idea. light on training mm. contact training of the teams considering that you know Olympics is just around the corner mm. uh, owing to COVID-19 situation but have you missed the game personally uh, yeah I mean uh, mm. truth is that's all I did on Saturday yes um, is I went to watch rugby yeah. Uh, before anything else. The Tri Nations. Uh, no, no. I'm yeah. saying locally. Locally. Uh, locally. Yeah. yeah before yeah. anything else. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an, it's been an increasing feeling for me in the last few years because okay, I can sit down and watch New Zealand versus Although Australia. Robert Rugby made this guy uh, mm. foul players. <laughs> <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs> True. <you're right. laughs> but uh, um, mm. you can sit down, like I was saying, you can mm. sit down and watch the New Zealand versus Australia, and yes, mm. it's going to be entertaining. Yeah. yeah. And of course, for me, it's even more painful because you see in those countries, the fans are already back in the stadium. Yes. But uh, then what are we trying to do back home? Mm -hmm. We can only pick examples there and come and replicate them here. Yes. Um, all the businesses that ask, all the businesses that happen in this country, mm -hmm. they did not start in this country. If it is banking, it is somebody who saw how the Bank of America works. Yes. It's somebody who saw, saw the Royal Bank, Bank of, of Scotland, England. Yeah. how they work, the RBS. Yeah. Somebody who saw HSBC, how they work. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Let's bring this banking concept back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, Tanchard Barclays are already running because of the British colony. Yeah. Let's bring, let's form KCB. Let's form Cop Bank. Let's form Equity Bank. But let's tailor it to the local person. Yes. It's the same thing I'm saying about this sport thing. We can conceptualize what it's, has happened abroad. We are already seeing what's happening abroad. Just bring it here and by the way, you'll just tweak a few things. For example, a ticket is not going to be a thousand dollars. Yes. A ticket is going to be a thousand bob or yeah. five hundred bob mm -hmm. for whatever game you're going for. Yeah. Um, a ticket is not going to merchandise. Uh, yes. When I was coming here, I saw the, again, uh, you know, remember the Kenya Airways jerseys for, for <laughs> Samurai. For, for, yeah, for the seventh team. The seventh team. And I saw him, and, and uh, in fact, I was thinking to myself the irony. Mm -hmm. um, the conversation we are going to have today yeah. is about you know, the, the money and sports. Yeah. Yes. And here you see a guy, he's walking in a washed up mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Sevens jersey. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I was like, I wonder if Kenya Rugby Union made money. Out, out of this, this yeah, jersey. Out, out, out of this particular jersey. <laughs> yes. I'm sure it was counterfeit. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go like, to s South Africa, mm -hmm. the Springbok, and by the world over, yeah. know, and on all sports, mm -hmm. they have various categories of merchandise. Mm -hmm. So you have for the wealthy guys, yes. like, let's say, let's Case in point, let's use the Springbok jersey. Mm -hmm. You have the jersey that will go for a hundred rand, mm -hmm. or rather a thousand rand, which yes. is ten thousand mm -hmm. You'll have the jersey that will go for five hundred rand. Mm -hmm. You'll have one that will go for a hundred rand. Yeah, like that, like that. Mm -hmm. So everyone has access to that particular jersey. Yeah. Um, but like I'm saying, to meet those operational costs, yeah. you need serious investor money. Yeah. Uh, I was working out just hypothetically the budget of a rugby club. Uh, in Kenya now yeah. um, would be about with proper salaries, mm -hmm. proper 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 salaries, uh, and 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 you see, I'm not saying salaries of one <laughs> million. I'm just yeah. saying, mm -hmm. look, let's let's make it competitive. Like let's say a bank. Mm -hmm. So a starting salary at a bank is like what 70k or thereabouts, yeah. mm -hmm. or even 50k thereabouts. Yeah. Just do a range there between mm -hmm. 50 and 70k. So average is 60,000. So you have a technical team. You have a plus player, like uh, 50 uh, players, people. technical players. Once mm -hmm. I did the workout, of technical, you pay them, of course, in the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. Players, it's a range depending on how serious you are. You contract mm -hmm. 40 players maximum. Yeah. Because you don't have, also want to have a big wage bill. A bloated bill. Yeah, wage yes. bill. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing on the technical side alone for two for two years, Yeah. Um, the salaries would be about maybe. 20 million shillings all right yeah now that is technical that's players yeah. then you have the company uh-huh that yes. is running this whole see yeah. guys have bought shares yes you have the company so of mm -hmm. course that company has to have employees yeah max i don't know uh, uh, sorry uh, oh, sorry i don't i don't i don't, I don't know if you remember the video i sent you for stanford uh -huh. graduates. university yes, stanford yes. university mm -hmm. graduates were uh -huh. involved in yes. learning sports, sports in america yeah and how they're talking from a business perspective mm -hmm. 
And in one particular clip, I remember they were talking about a hockey team. Yeah. And I see a hockey team. And you see the number of employees that team has hired. You know? Who are a, coming a, in to work. To work. Who don't there's care no, about exactly. even hockey. There's no... Yes, exactly. They don't care about... <laughs> yes. Them that are coming, it's accounts, it's accounts. Yes. yes. You yeah. know? So yeah. they're coming. Yeah. Specialization. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. marketing. It's, it's only marketing. team you come. Yeah. That's the work you've uh -huh. come to do. Yeah. Um, so, of course, then there's the salaries for those guys. Mm -hmm. Anyway, total. Yeah, no, the, the, the question, mm -hmm. okay, the question will be, uh, for when you are talking to a business investor, mm -hmm. short term, let's say two to five years, will the company have uh, course, yes. break even? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the event space, yeah. always look at it from an events perspective. Uh -huh. The event space, yeah. people are looking for something to do over the weekend. Yeah. People are looking for something to do over the weekend. Yeah. Never be lied to by uh -huh. anyone. Yeah. From Friday evening, that yeah. is why all the bars in this town are yes. packed. Yeah. From Friday evening, mm. people are looking for something to do. Yes. And people wind down. Mm -hmm. Remember, sports is entertainment. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same. It's, it's, there's no difference between a game of rugby and a movie. It's entertainment. It's entertainment. All of it is entertainment. It's entertainment. Yeah. It's just, it depends on the quality, for lack of a better word. Yes. Uh -huh. So, oh yeah, it's something I know for sure. Me, I've always said, if I had that money, yeah. in a heartbeat, I would not even think it, twice. You know, when, when, when you talk about these bars and everything, mm -hmm. then you come, you come and look at it from a social-cultural perspective. What is happening outside there in the world, mm -hmm. these guys have managed to tailor it to TV that our people now are comfortable to sit in a bar and watch it on TV yeah. without going to the study. Because at the end of the day, they look at the study and say, what, what am I going to do at Kasarani mm -hmm. just because field of play, 90 minutes is done, and But it's, because, it's yeah. because the environment that is created at that Kasarani mm -hmm. yeah. will always yes. attract you there. Yes. Yes. It's because you go one day for one game, you're like, hey, yeah. chief. If I have money, <laughs> I'll come no back. I'm missing this yes. game. Uh -huh. um, I, I remember I told you guys, and uh, 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 sorry for keeping on flogging a dead horse. Yeah. I remember telling you guys the experience I had when I went to watch um, a rugby World Cup game. Uh -huh. And I'll take you back to what spurred that conversation. Yeah. Is a conversation I was having with my old man. He got lucky and um, he went for the London Olympics in 2012. Yeah. In one of these packages and he got and he went. Yes. And we were chatting and I remember it was, he was watching the semi-finals of the 200 meter. Uh, and, that, and that was the Olympic between, um, what's this guy? Uh, the two Jamaican guys? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt and, and Johan Blake. Blake. And Johan yeah. Blake. Yeah. So, you know, we're chatting and I'm like, yeah, how is it? He's like, mm -hmm. hey. He just sent me a message, he told me, a young man, work hard. I can't mm. believe I waited all this time just to witness to a live witness. sporting event. Yes. So of course that really whet my appetite, mm -hmm. and I put in effort. That um, and actually that time I was in banking, mm. so I worked, I worked, I worked. I don't the say. The man I, saved I, a few I, coins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't say I worked to what off, <laughs> yes. but I worked, I worked, I worked. Yeah. And in 2015, I decided. Look, um, I was Let going me go. to go. Actually, two things happened. The 2011 World Cup. The, mm -hmm. That was in New Zealand, mm -hmm. and I remember, you know how they normally hand over to the new city? Yes. And I remember them handing over to Johnny Wilkinson, it was in England, I was like, oh, England, not too far. Uh -huh. And then, of course, that conversation, I was like, no, I have to make my way. So, yeah. saved a few coins, and, um, and I went. Yeah. And uh, it was a very tragic beginning to the trip, because I'm, my flight was delayed by an hour, I ended mm -hmm. up missing the game, I wanted to go watch, mm -hmm. which was all Blacks versus, versus uh, Georgia. Yes. But then I stumbled upon a ticket for South Africa versus uh, USA. A good game as well. It's, it's a good game. Mm -hmm. And uh, the crowds, of course, the USA, the Americans understand sports. Yeah. Same do South Africans. Mm -hmm. And I remember walking into the Olympic Stadium mm -hmm. and the experience I had, I was like, man, now this is what, this is now live sports. Yeah. <laughs> You get the feeling. And real spectator sport. Spectator. I remember yeah. it was a game, uh, Brian Habana equaled uh, John Alomo's record uh -huh. for 14 tries. Yes. I was like, this is now, that is the event. Now yeah. back to your point, sorry, I beg your pardon. Back mm. to your point. You see, uh, once you create that environment in the stadium, mm -hmm. then the TVs want to come on board. Yeah. And then now the bars have to have DSTV. Yes. And then now people who cannot afford to go to the stadium, stadium. can watch, watch there. Yeah. So now, in turn, are you seeing the number of to our main topic, how yeah. sports can spur an economy. Uh -huh. yes. You have the sports organization itself uh -huh. that has paid its employees, yes. i.e. the players uh -huh. and the people who are running the company. Yeah. 
you have the people who worked on the stadia mm -hmm. the construct from a construction perspective, perspective yes but you have the people who are working in the tv station yes that is airing that particular game yeah you know like i was seeing uh, for example in the open the the mm -hmm. open that is in scotland yeah. to the golf tournament yes bbc has 250 people on site uh -huh. On the same breath, I tend yeah. to believe that during World Under-18 Championship mm -hmm. that was staged at Moe International Sports Centre, Kasarana, I think ABC, who we were airing the game live, we were the uh, host broadcast, and we pitched camp. Actually, yes. us guys used to stay at Kenya School of Monetary Studies. Yes. And I tend to believe that the organizers of this particular event didn't make well use of, you know, mm -hmm. the opportunity. Because in as much as the stadium was filled to the rafters and a lot of numbers free. came in through, mm -hmm. The marketing aspect of the game you know, was not there at all. You know, it's normally a very dicey situation in marketing for Olympics. Yes, yeah. because um, of the because rules of the and IOC. regulations. Yes. Yeah, for athletics, because yes. IOC has their own partners. Yes. I'm sorry, or IAAF, I beg your pardon, yes. in this particular case, uh, yes. have their own because partners. Because I remember even the Safaricom branding at the facility had to be erased. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you see with the major, with mega sports, mm. uh, there's a, you, you realize that uh, the IAAF, the International Olympic Committee, FIFA, FIFA. itself, mm -hmm. yes. they, these uh, commercial guys come in as partners. They come in as, that level. as, that, yes. as commercial partners so there is at no a higher private level. Entities so can you can come in, yes, but you are given a category. You realize like with FIFA you are told you become a platinum partner, mm -hmm. which in that your sponsorship money is way, way above anybody else. Then you come in as a gold partner, where you are told for you, you are advertisement spaces there's a particular space then you come in as a silver partner and all the way going down so you realize that even if safaricom was branding the Mo international sports center kasarani for the under 18 they cannot their money cannot get into the partners and I, think, I think what max is trying to say uh, robert if you allow me max to yes. enunciate is that in such an in such a tournament, yeah. Kenya cannot go out and source for their sponsors. Yes. Yes. No, mm -hmm. the sponsors are brought to you yeah. by IAAF. Because mm -hmm. remember, it's an IAAF tournament. Yeah, it's the same thing with FIFA. Yeah, if it's a FIFA. Uh, but the, guys, have you ever realized when you watch the UEFA Champions League, yeah. the advertising in the stadium mm -hmm. is the same? Yeah, Gazprom, mm -hmm. Heineken, yes. Nani. It all is. Over the it state. is UEFA. Because it's UEFA's partner. Yes. Uh. So that's different. That's now not international level tournament like yeah. you're saying the mega tournament yes then now there's this too small now like i'm saying league league like uh -huh. man united now yeah. man united is playing arsenal mm -hmm. games are all traveled so mm -hmm. chevy is there adidas mm -hmm. is there yeah who is there if it's at arsenal emirates is there I'm, yeah arsenal is now adidas right yeah adidas yeah. is adidas there adidas the kids sponsor there. Uh -huh. the sport pesa <laughs> yeah would be there, you know uh -huh. those are the guys on the boards mm -hmm. so um it's for these corporate guys to come at the end of the day what i'm saying is you need these high net worth individuals yeah but also to finish my point on the sparring of the economy was yeah. you now you finished the stadia you finished everything then you yeah. get into the small businesses yes you get into the bars the bars are business yeah it employs people mm -hmm. it's somebody who's invested their money there so even the bar is making money off patrons being yeah. there week in week out yeah i told you about how when tottenham were moving from white hat lane to the new stadium yeah before they got approval from the uh, city council of london mm -hmm. to move the stadium they had to prove how they were going to substitute mm -hmm. for the businesses mm -hmm. that were going to be lost around white at white at wow. and, and you see th that that is how it happened because you, you look at uh, the marathons mm -hmm. all, all over the world uh, you look at the london marathon the boston marathon and all that these are two hour 30 minutes marathon mm -hmm. that gives a city 340 billion million dollars annually just if to, not more yeah if not more because i know like, yeah. yeah like i know london mm. generates about two billion pounds yes in revenues yeah, of revenues yeah. in that span of three hours yeah. for that marathon you know, the masters it's yes. opening uh, it's happening at the moment yes and in that particular time that it is happening it injects a particular amount of money into that economy because now the when it comes to employment opportunities in the sports industry you look at it from a direct employment opportunities mm -hmm. and indirect employment opportunities yeah. that the direct partners like football players coaches referees those coming in the as direct we've yeah, about the <laughs> company <laughs> yeah. they come in yes. as direct employment yes. but now the indirect people are the ones we are talking about mm -hmm. these bars mm -hmm. these restaurants, people, restaurants yeah. they're making money off 
the sports like, events exactly. that are happening. So our business uh, investors, our billionaires here in the country need to learn, learn that sports right now is like $500 billion worth. Mm -hmm. And it's not going down. It's, it's ever never, sports growing. Never going to ever so, growing. So I think from this conversation, we can unanimously say that, you know, sports is a key generator mm -hmm. of revenue. And through sports, you know, positive impacts come let, on board. When it let, comes me, let me just give you, and let, let me just give you an example. Yes. Uh, in my studies, I was reading a book by John Furtado. Mm -hmm. he is a, he's a guy who does basketball and now is in sports media. Mm -hmm. He did a study of network television and basketball mm -hmm. and the NBA. Mm -hmm. In 1970, the NBA was giving network television 10 million. Mm -hmm. 2020, network television is giving NBA 20 billion. Look, at, talk about that. So basically, <laughs> and, and you know, by the way, that's the rise in money in the 90s. Because, yeah. uh, uh, you know, like, for example, they talk about how Michael Jordan's salary shot up from $3 yes. million dollars to $30 million dollars uh -huh. a year. Yeah. And it was primarily because of TV money. Yeah. Uh, the reason why the messes are earning ridiculous money is because of TV money. Yeah. But back to where we are coming from, guys, mm -hmm. for it to take off, yeah. we need the Alicia Usmanovs, the Sheikh Mansours, we need the Steve Bummers. Mm -hmm. Or oh, let me come to Africa, the Patrick Motsepes, Motsepe. mm -hmm. the Moise Katumbis mm -hmm. and the Mohammed Dujis of Kenya mm -hmm. to sit down and say, okay, fine. Uh, Gormahi have said they are worth five billion. Yeah. Let me think at five billion. Yeah. AFC have said, or get even a consortium. Guys. Uh -huh. we, yeah. need, we need to get to that point. As we wind up, Narwa, mm -hmm. you must have seen the news in publications that one of the former leading betting firms, Port Pesa, is back in action after the court vindicated their mm -hmm. uh, existence. I don't know, how does that go well with uh, sporting activities in the country? Good for Max, the game? I was actually going through, a, I think it was same time last year. Yeah. We actually talked about it. Yes. Here, mm -hmm. And we talked about, and I said, I personally for, felt that uh, somebody was being vindictive yes. to sport PESA, mm -hmm. and that's why their license had been frozen. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't get into details, but for me, I look at it from a business perspective. I mean, can you imagine the number of jobs, direct and mm -hmm. indirect jobs, mm -hmm. that's what we was providing? Yeah. Uh, this nonsense that we keep on talking about syntax in Kenya, mm -hmm. come on, it doesn't hold water for me. Yeah. You can't tell me gambling. Fine, it's affecting the youth. Uh, so is alcohol. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> it's so very is true. Yeah. Uh, uh, casinos are still there. Uh -huh. So let's find a way to control it. L look at the Monaco. Remember yes. Monaco? Uh -huh. Monaco is a gambling town. Gambling, tower, gambling city. It's in about that. high life. Yeah. <laughs> it's run yes. by gambling. It's high life. It's high yes. life. Monaco For is about casinos. Yeah. Uh -huh. For you to dock your yacht at Monaco, the lowest you can pay is, I think, 20 million mm -hmm. for your IH to dock in Monaco. Then you can go to the it's, casinos it, in Monaco. It's the most, <laughs> I mean, even on yeah. the F1 circuit now, yeah. Yeah. it's the most anticipated yeah. Monaco because Prince yeah. Albert, of course, of Monaco is there. Yes. Yeah, all the celebrities mm -hmm. want to go to Monaco. Like yeah. you're saying, guys mm -hmm. are docking their yachts. Mm -hmm. They want to see. But can you imagine the revenue? The revenue that is the Monaco that's that's the most important thing. Yeah. 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 Of course, yeah. that's a discussion for another day. Sport mm -hmm. Pesa come back. We know, uh, and we can agree with on the same script that Sport Pesa contributed immensely towards, you know, funding a lot of sporting activities in the country. The other day I was talking to, you know, Fatou Mazarika, the boxing mm -hmm. uh, uh, champion, mm -hmm. and she was, you know, crying foul over lack of corporate support mm -hmm. because right now, even if she gets a fight, no one is funding. We used yes. to see Nairobi Nightlife mm -hmm. at Kenyatta International Sports Center, uh, KICC, Kenyatta International Conference Center, mm -hmm. yeah. while the organization was epic. Max me, I would say, for free. Yes. Like, if I had the money myself, I wouldn't even be waiting for that corporate. I would yeah. put in the money, kind of like what Mobutu Sisekwa did with Rumble in the Jungle. Yes. I would put in <laughs> put the it. money myself. That was Saudi Arabia. Exactly. Yeah, the I would put in the money yeah. myself. Yeah. Then the, when the corporates come, that's when I make my money. Yeah. I think that is the route. That's, that's what the route. people should start <laughs> doing. Yeah. Individual uh, investments, then yeah. corporates. Yeah. Yeah. Corporates is your revenue. Away. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's a pleasure doing this every Saturday. One, two, three. Touchline is the show. We can't exhaust this for sure. We can't exhaust this. But of course, we hope that we will continue continue talking about sports development, sports economy and marketing aspect of the game. It's been a pleasure, Ngarwa Kamuya coming in through Soro Robert as well. But of course, good afternoon, keep safe. And just like Ngarwa says, weekends are for sports. <laughs> Enjoy whichever the sports discipline you love and admire.
Thank you for tuning in.